one hand, raincoats and programs in the other, spectators flock to Hamilton's Rugby Park for what could well be the spectacle of the season. Certainly the local lads won't be turning on anywhere near the fancy footwork that was displayed this Sunday afternoon. Yes, it was the National Marching Champs, featuring several hundred of the slicker sidesteppers in sport. footy fan wondering what these boots were doing on such sacred rugby turf. Well, marching's a sport too, as they'll quickly tell you. Marching is a sport. We, we consider ourselves a sport. Uh, I think it certainly is a sport. I mean, you just watch the girls, you know what I mean? There's a lot that goes into it, you know, and the girls are very, very fit. They do lots of practice. Marching, like so many others, is a sport struggling to keep its membership. Today, around 4,000 take part around the country, carrying on the traditions of this Kiwi institution, which centres on precise movement. Twelve teams competed in the national senior champs, but right from the start, it was a closely run race. Wellington's Lock Eel, national champs for a decade, had lost out last year and were determined to recapture Marching's Laurel. Uniflex pioneers. The Cantabrians who snatched the prize in 92 were equally intent on retaining top spot. When it came to the display section, it was the Kensington Guards who showed spectators just what you can do with a bit of imagination. on the other hand, stuck more closely to tradition. Dynamic though the Kensington Guards performance was, instructors knew it may be a little more than the traditionalists were prepared to swallow. Go, go, go with a smile. A lot of displays are more daring these days. You know, they're coming out with more um, panache and, you know, razzmatazz, and, but you've still got to keep within the marching, the, the, you know, the the rules and the regulations. Because how fine a line is there between trying to bring marching into the 90s and keeping it within its traditions? Well, it's, it's becoming more um, more flamboyant these days. The, you know, they have the march plan, which is a, which is a set plan, and the displays are more... Um, they're, they're now coming into more flair display, you know, like they choreograph it to the music and bring, make the people feel the music. And, and the people seem the crowd like them, but not always the judges. You only have to watch a platoon of soldiers marching to realise just how slick these women are. They're assessed on precise technical detail. Spacing must be spot on, the arms must swing exactly right, and at all times, the display must be nothing short of dignified. This kind of number, it seems, was just a little offbeat. And so it was that Lockheel took the title out yet again. And with plans to participate in the tattoo at Edinburgh again this year, it was somehow fitting that they should go as national champs. to see netballers aren't the only people still having to battle with the perils of